Let's go. We're back. Not only am I back, but the Spangles are back, okay? You know, I'm wrapping the Joe Burrow jersey. I need to get a new jersey for the collection. I just don't know who yet, okay? Um, but yeah. It might be this guy who we're going to start off this video off with. Because we just beat the Steelers, and I'm going to talk about it. You already know. How to come back on a Steelers dub. Well, I dub against the Steelers. Yeah, words. You know, you, you feel me? Okay. We're going to start off with... The man, the myth legend, Joe Mixon, 28 yards, 28 yards, 28 carries, 165 yards, and two touchdowns. He's your favorite running back's favorite running back. Okay, I don't care that Jonathan Taylor had, what, whatever, five touchdowns last week. This week, Leonard Fournette had four. So what? They ain't Joe Mixon. I don't care. Joe Mixon only had one yard, one, two, two touchdowns. Man, this is making plays. Okay. I don't care about your running back because guess what? You ask your favorite running back, his favorite running back, it's gonna be Joe Mixon because he's your favorite running back's favorite running back. Let's go. Yeah. He's balling. He wasn't there in the passing game, but I mean, he did save Burrow from an interception. You know, that was pretty sick. I mean, I don't think I can actually play it. Copyright? I don't know. I don't know how that stuff works. But yeah. Um, one other person in the running game to talk about is Chris Evans. And I'm not talking about the guy who plays Captain America. I'm talking about the Chris Evans running back out of Michigan. Freaking Ohio State lost, bro. But we're back to the video. Chris Evans had five carries. For 23 yards, no touchdown, but it don't really matter. I mean, five carries, 23 yards. That's a pretty good average, which is 4.6 yards per carry. Obviously, I'm pretty sure he didn't get 4.6 yards carry each time. But hey, and he's probably playing in the end of the game. I didn't watch it. I was working. Big dog. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Chris Evans is hopefully going to help out Joe Mixon very soon. And where Joe Mixon does have such a big load on both offense, uh, both passing and rushing. Hopefully, just rushing soon. Uh, but yeah, because I, I want I want Joe Mixon healthy. I mean, he can if we make it to the playoffs. Like I'm not saying like this year. I'm talking about like further in the future. If we make the playoffs, I mean I'd rather have him, I want him healthy. And if we, then he can go back to like carrying these offense, not carrying the offense, but like. Carrying the workload of the running back position. But if you can split it throughout the whole season, win games, and then you can go to Joe Mixon in the playoffs and stuff like that, that would be great. Let's keep Mixon healthy, baby. Let's go. Um, next up, we have Joe Burrow. 24 for 20 for 24. And then one touchdown, 190 yards, and an interception. Second in the league in interceptions. Not good, my friends. Not good at all. And I don't, I don't want to overreact on the interceptions because, in a way, this is kind of his rookie season still. Like, I'm not saying this is his rookie. I think you guys understand what I'm saying. Like, he got hurt. He's still kind of getting the feel for the league a little bit more. He didn't get the full season. Obviously, he got hurt, like, uh, week nine. Yeah. No. Week, week 11, pretty sure. I don't even know. All right, I don't, I try to forget that thing, okay? I mean, obviously I see his brace and all that, but yeah, uh, bad times. But yeah, he kind of still getting through, getting used to the league and all that. Uh, I mean, you still see it with Herbert and Tua. I mean, Herbert plays phenomenal, don't get me wrong. But I mean, you, just, you still see um, points in his game where you're like, oh, yeah, he's still kind of adjusting to the league. I mean, he makes some plays he thinks he can make, but he you don't, know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, <sighs> Joe Burrow. I mean, I'd love to see him get like 300 yards per per game, like a game, like but like that, mainly quarterbacks who do that don't really have that rushing game, and we had a good rushing game. But I, I, I mean, if we can keep rushing, I'm fine with Burrow getting 190, like low 200 yard passing games as long as we're winning too. Uh, but yeah, 
But I know Burrow can step up whenever he needs it. I mean, he only had 24 pass attempts. Uh, T. Higgins, six catches for 114 yards and a touchdown. That touchdown was nice. And you can't even get me wrong right there. Uh, but the rest of the offense, the rest of the receivers, didn't really do that much. But um, they still, like, I mean, that's just how you, that's what you're going to expect for the Cincinnati um, offense. Like, it's going to be complete. It's going to be completely different, like, every week. Because Jamar Chase got so much hype from, like, week four to six, probably. I don't know when, when you want to say, like, it just kind of ended. Um, but, yeah. Like, his pro insane product productivity. Um, so now everybody's focused on him. They're kind of like, Tegan's Tyler Boyd aren't doing anything. Um, that's because y'all are still focused on him and leaving Jamar Chase one-on-one. -on -one. Now they can't do that, you know. Obviously, it'd still be nice to see Jamar Chase out there making plays, but, I mean, 13 yards per catch is still pretty nice. It's the first time each time we catch the ball. Obviously, I don't think it's... I don't think he got 13 yards per catch, but, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? But, yeah, I think it's for the offense, um, for the defense. We had a big defensive game. Shout out Mike Hilton for the comp. I don't even know what you want to say. I mean, I guess... Revenge, yeah. The shout out Mike Hill's revenge game. Pick six against his former team, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, I don't, I don't hundred percent know the story of the off season. Like, obviously, I know that he was a Steeler and then he goes to Cincinnati. I know we offered him a contract. I don't know if they offered him a contract and it was just not close to our off contract or they didn't offer it at all. I forgot the story, uh, but still, I'm pretty sure he didn't. He, I think he said he didn't feel wanted. By the Steelers organization and then he goes out there and has a pick six obviously it's been Roethlisberger but he actually played he actually put a made a good play on the ball um on that play for the pick six and then BJ Hill who I hated the trade at first I'm not gonna lie when we traded Billy Price for T, Billy, BJ Hill uh I hated it but he's balling out for us uh, and then who else we have Trey Hendrickson uh, had a sack, forced a fumble, recovered by Sam Hubbard, who also had a sack this game. I love to see this defensive line get sacks because the last two seasons, we were dead last in sacks. That's pretty dang awful. Like, yeah, so we're stepping up this year. Uh, obviously, we had a very bad stretch the last couple. Like, after Halloween, we had the worst like, from Halloween and on, we had the worst passing defense in the league after being, like, ranked the fifth best off defense. I think I said offense earlier, but, you know, just, uh, defense. And then Eli Apple had a big, big um, interception return, 50 yards. Um, sadly, we could not capitalize on that intercept interception as well as we should have. I mean, we got to the five-yard line when we got a field goal. It was just a tough break by us, I guess. But, hey, good performance. We won 41-10. to 10. Can't complain. Because who likes the Steelers? Nobody. Let's keep it rolling. Next week, we have, I wanted to say the Raiders, but we have the Chargers. Justin Herbert, what it do? See you guys next week.